Hello and welcome back to the Outdoor Station with me, your host, Bob Cartwright. And today we're looking at the new Nigor Moyo pack, a pack that's going to be pretty popular with a whole variety of users, I'm sure. So without further ado, let's get closer to it. Now, when you look at this the first time, you will instantly recognize that it's very similar to a pack that was around, it was knocking around the UK oh, a good few years back by Golite, the Golite Iron. Now, that pack was extremely popular with many, many people, uh, with peat baggers, with adventure racers, with cyclists, uh, with commuters, with travelers, uh, and there's a very, very good reason for it. Um, it was just the right size for most jobs. Well, this Moyo by Nigor is uh, a very similar in its uh, initial looks but it's got a load of extra features uh, so let's just go through that now right as you can see straight away uh, the material is the ripstop dyneema that you're starting to see everywhere these days on bags and certainly bags that are of good quality uh, this means that the dyneema which is the white banding in here um, is uh, extremely strong very very strong stuff so if you do get a rip you catch it on a rock or whatever it might be it's not going to suddenly open up and, and pour out uh, but it's a more expensive fabric but it's a, a very very good fabric very durable fabric and one of the most useful things about it um, apart from it being light and durable is that when the fabric gets wet it doesn't soak up water like the old fabrics used to do so it's not waterproof but it's pretty water resistant uh, and uh, that of course keeps the the pack light in most conditions but looking at the front of the pack let's go down through uh, some of the main features here we have got a nice little uh, daisy chain here a shock cord daisy chain which obviously acts as a bit of a compression system to pull the pack closed uh, that will take obviously the longer items you might have down here could be your tent poles your walking poles uh, could be a rolled up sleeping mat or something and at the very bottom we have a good sized mesh pocket uh, which again will take a, a reasonable amount of stuff so you're looking at uh, you know rolled up a rolled up uh, jacket or something like that filling that area there then we've got uh, two pockets either side again two mesh pockets nice and generous big enough for a water bottle a good sized water bottle uh, or uh, lunch or an apple or a uh, uh, wind shirt and that type of thing so extremely useful from that point of view moving to the top of the pack it's got a waterproof zip on it with a double end so you can uh, zip it from uh, in two different directions should you wish to do so and it's got a very very wide opening neck uh, so uh, that usually appear, appeals to the climbers who like to get a rope in here uh, and that works uh, extremely well but it does mean that it's a good positive closure and it keeps your stuff nice and safe in there. As I say, even though it's a waterproof zip, the material isn't waterproof but it's, it's, it's been coated I think by the feel of it with something so it's even more resistant than, than it was before. Uh, and of course you've got the, the uh, grab handle at the top uh, for, for grabbing the pack in a, in a hurry. Now the people who are interested in hydration, of course there is a central hydration slot just there, I just think you can see that, all right. Uh, that allows the people with left or right handed interest for their hydration to be able to get access to the hydration. Now coming around to the, to the back of the pack, we have uh, the uh, very, very durable uh, but useful lightweight mesh straps, making it very breathable of course. Uh, so that's good for wicking away the moisture. Uh, the chest harness, which slides up and down like all good chest harnesses do these days, has of course got a whistle built in there uh, at the front. And of course uh, that means you can call your mates when they're ahead of you on the trail, wherever it might be. Um, simple adjusters, uh, adjusting to the bottom of the pack. And uh, down here you've got a very, very basic webbing hip belt. And of course uh, what a lot of people do is cut that hip belt off because it isn't a vast amount of use, depending on how you're using it of course. Now the, uh, the pack itself uh, is uh, 26 litres, which is uh, pretty good for a weekend pack. Uh, as I say, a great escape pack, a great travelling pack, uh, a great commuting pack, a great shopping pack. Uh, and it weighs in at around 312 grams, so the manufacturers say. Now the back length is probably the most important thing. And for, uh, for people who are keen on getting the right back length, uh, it measures in uh, as being ideal for somebody with a back length of about 44 to 53 centimetres, which in old money is uh, 17 and a half to 21 inches, which covers a fair back range. But as I say, because of the nature of the pack, because it's a fairly uh, light pack, soft pack, a lot of people just cut the hip belt off uh, and it fits most people that way, just because that's the way people use it. So there you have the Nigor Moyo, uh, a super all-round pack, uh, very, very light, very, very functional, and I can pretty well guarantee it's going to be extremely popular in the UK.
Indeed, we think it is. Let's just have a look at uh, the details once again. Interesting, I've just realised the photograph that uh, have, has been supplied by uh, Nigor is missing the uh, compression straps and the front pocket there off that picture. Uh, so sort of ignore that picture really and refer back to the video. But there you go, you have the main uh, details there again. Obviously Dyneema fabric, uh, good size, back length. A reasonable capacity and a very, very uh, decent, respectable, lightweight pack. And of course, uh, the pack is going to be available in the UK at a variety of well-known retailers. Uh, but you can always find one if you hunt around there. Now, if you uh, want to keep in contact with us, uh, find out uh, more as we release the videos, there's a whole variety of ways to subscribe. And here they are. Oh, no, they're not. Let's try that button. Since 2005, over 5 million people have listened to the Outdoor Station audio podcasts and over 1 million have watched the videos. You can subscribe to the Outdoor Station in numerous ways. Visit the website and select the link to your chosen social media network. The UK's only award-winning audio and video podcast service for the great outdoors. Well, that pretty well wraps it up from, up, uh, from us uh, on this particular occasion. We've got a handful of uh, rucksack videos we are, do we are releasing at the moment. So you'll suddenly see a flurry of uh, videos on new packs uh, coming extremely soon. Uh, right, well, thanks for watching. Come back next time. Bye for now.